Hey folks, so this is an interesting one I thought I'd share with you. Now for as long as I can remember, with all my reef tanks, I've always used the trusty refractometer. Calibrated every single time, and I set my salt level at 35 parts per thousand. Now, of recent, a lot of you will probably notice that the introduction of these new digital testers. This is uh, probably one of the most popular ones made by Hannah. Now, Hannah are a very trusted company within our, our reefing community. And this is their salinity tester. Quite expensive, 85 odd quid. And I thought I'd take the plunge, it makes my life a little bit easier. Not having to calibrate every time, you just literally dip it in the tank or whatever water you're trying to test for water changes or whatever. And it just reads it straight out digitally. Nice and easy. Now, obviously, they do need to be calibrated every sort of month, two months or so. And then you did assume from a company called, you know, uh, by uh, like this, Hannah, that it'd be very, very accurate. So I've been trusting this for the past six months or so with my Red Sea Max Nano. Now, the interesting thing is, though, I've always set my salt, as I've just said, at 35 parts per thousand. And when I purchased this Hannah checker, this Hannah tester, I noticed that it read a lot lower than what was reading on my refractometer. So this was set at 35, calibrated every time. And when I got this out of the box for the first time and tested the water, it tested at like 32.6. Thinking, oh, for, for ages I've been running my salt level too low. So out of the two, you'd think, right, well, okay, well, especially this being brand new at the box and calibrated with the solution it comes with, you're going to trust this. So we went with this and we set, we started raising our salinity up to 35 parts per thousand. And uh, been running the tank for six months plus since. Now I have noticed though, it's weird because I've noticed whenever I do do a check and you do water changes, stuff like that, you, you, you're checking it, but you don't check it so much in between water changes. But I have been checking it of recent. I've noticed that my salinity just keeps rising, sort of maybe, 0.5 to, to 1 ppt, you know, a week. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, it was just strange. So I stayed with it and sort of kept testing, thinking, you know, I had to sort of start taking salt water out of the aquarium and adding RO, sort of just to bring the level down. And thinking, well, I've not changed anything. And unless you do a water change, you mix with the incorrect amount, you know, salinity on the, your water change water, it shouldn't change. Um, so, you know, there's been a few corals that haven't been doing great of recent as well. So you think that the, the salinity difference between the two, you know, I, I really tested with this and it was testing really high. You know, say 35 on here, and I'd, I'd test with this and it would be shown sort of 38.5, 38, nearly 39 ppt, which is far too high. So I decided to go back to the refractometer uh, and slowly bring my levels down to 35 ppt on this and i think it's made a bit of difference now i have made some other changes to the tank uh, with parameters not a lot temperature i've changed a tiny bit my lighting schedule i've changed a little bit and i've upped my nutrients a tiny bit the trouble is when you're changing lots of things in the tank it's quite hard to pinpoint what has actually made an improvement but i think i really don't trust this you know, there's many, many people who have probably uh, purchased this and, you know, you might disagree with me, but ch just take it. If, you, if you're noticing your salinity going up, I think this thing needs to be calibrated more often than what they're saying. And I, I'm thinking probably at least once a week every, you know, um, which is which is a right faff really. And I think sort of, you know, the reason you buy this is it's for, for more convenience. Um, and it is digital with with the, the probe so it sort of takes uh, a reading of conductivity you know i really do i mean I've, I've run this for so many years and run so many successful reef tanks um the most recent one being my reefer 250 always used this at 35 ppt so just thought i'd share that with you i've gone back to the refractometer believe it or not um so i'll check back in with you and, uh, and let you know what uh how this sort of un unfolds. But um, yeah, amazingly, I've gone back to this one. 
So yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, if anyone's sort of done the same or noticed the same, and uh, chuck them in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear what you've got to say about it. Okay, folks, till next time, I'll catch you in the next one.